I got to ride on the back of trail bikes with my dad on a, on a ranch that he worked on. I was probably four or five. I just thought that was really cool. My name is Dan Batts. I live here in Portland, Oregon, and I've been teaching with Team Oregon since 1999. Uh, I'm an instructor. I'm a mentor instructor. I'm also on the leadership council. I took one of the experience, what was called the Experience Writers Course. Um, in 93, 94, something like that, and the instructors had asked me at the time if I was interested in becoming an instructor. Now we know where it is. That's a good idea. Uh, Team Oregon is the state-sanctioned motorcycle safety program, so we're, act we're underneath ODOT, or, uh, Department of Transportation, and we have sites uh, all throughout the state, and we train motorcyclists. The bulk of them are th beginning riders that want to get their endorsements. Regardless of where they're at, whether they haven't ridden a bike before at all, sometimes they're just self-taught, or maybe they they taught um, a friend taught them or a husband, and they don't they don't really have the skills they need to, to ride safely on the street. So we can take people that have never been on a bike uh, and and build the proper habits for a, a new rider, and also hopefully fine tune some of those bad habits that people have been using or not using on the street. We got the VRT, which comprises of the bulk of the students that go through the program. And that's for the beginning riders, basic rider training, who, and it's designed for riders that have never been on the track or on the, on the bike before. Uh, beyond that is the IRT, uh, intermediate rider training, a one-day class for people that have, have some bike experience that want to get uh, sharpened back up. Maybe it's been some years since they've been on a bike. And then also beyond that is the rider skills practice another one-day course that they do on their own bike uh, it's a, and they get a chance to work on their cornering and whatnot. It's a half-day course and then beyond that is the advanced rider training course at uh, the go-kart track where you get a chance to work on their cornering. Each, each exercise, it starts out very basic. We just start out with them mounting the bike and identifying the controls to make sure that they know where. We, we covered that in the previous, in the night class, but that, so we reinforce that where the controls are, how to start and stop the bike, where the shift lever is, where the clutch lever is, how those things work. And then they will, we pr progress onto there just to straddle walking. They get a feel for what the friction zone. A lot of riders have never driven a manual transmission. They have no idea how a clutch works, so they get some practice doing that. Pulling the clutch in, squeezing the front brake, uh, press the rear brake, and we're pretending we're downshifting. Even though we're just, just then you move on to starting and stopping, and they can just walk along with the bike if they want. Um, and then we move on to a step where they can put their feet on the pegs if they want. And then after each, each exercise progresses on to where within the first half hour or so, they've got their feet on the pegs and they're riding around. You know, initially, all, there isn't, all they're riding around is the first gear, so then once, once that's sort of settled in, then we're going to move into shifting. So that, that just in itself takes up a whole lot of their concentration. See, I got to roll you know, all the steps, which we've gone through in class, you know, roll off the throttle. And a lot of the exercises will have a, a, a little practice, what we call a static practice, while they're still sitting on the bikes in line before they start riding around. So they've actually done this maybe a little bit. This is what we're going to do when we get out there in the range. Our curriculum is based on evidence that we've gathered, or the program has gathered, of, of what leads to motorcycle accidents. So it specifically addresses what, what kind of issues people are having here and what gets them in crashes or killed here in Oregon. We have one of the lower accident rates for, the, for our per rider miles traveled to where for our state compared to other states. So the program's uh, really doing well uh, nationwide. We're right, up the, right at the top. We provide bikes, the fixed range is what we call a fixed range like we have here at PCC Sylvania. We've got two sheds that have the bikes on them. We've got spares, parts there if we, if we need, which happens sometimes. We've got, that's where the helmets are stored. Shortly, and I'm not sure how shortly, but we're going to have start having a couple scooters at various sites for those people that are uh, interested in riding scooters. I've had students tell me that this is the most fun thing that they've ever done in their life. But by the end, uh, you can take people uh, that have never ridden before and, and they, they're doing really, really well. That's just the progress they make in a relatively short period of time is very satisfying.